So today we're going to talk about the main features of the PAR Mini Reactor Vessel Assembly, which consists of head, closure, cylinder, and the main head fittings and some internal pieces that we'll look at in a moment. But to give you the context of the full system, you can also see the controller, the stand, the motor here in this enclosure, as well as the overarm drive, which drives the magnetic drive. And I'll remove the vessel assembly so that you can see it out of the stand. We'll drop the heater. So we'll describe the standard head fittings in a PAR reactor, starting in the front with the gauge adapter port here. The gauge adapter includes the analog pressure gauge, an optional digital pressure transducer, and the manual vent valve shown at the right. As we proceed clockwise, we find the double valve assembly connected here, to which both a liquid sampling valve and a gas inlet valve are connected. Next is the rupture disc assembly with tag that shows the burst pressure of the rupture disc mounted in the head fitting here. The next two ports are for cooling water inlet and outlet connected to the cooling loop inside the vessel. And then finally, the thermocouple is shown here, a type J in a vertical port, along with the central magnetic drive connected to the overarm with cooling sleeve barbs to keep the magnets cool inside the magnetic drive. What you've seen today is the standard head configuration for a PAR reactor, but we're happy to customize it to meet your research needs. Whether you need special openings in the head or cylinder, high viscosity stirrers, windows, special valves, heaters or jackets, explosion proof wiring, or a different volume, just ask. We also have accessories like glass or PTFE liners, reflux condensers, catalyst holders, and alternate stirrers. If your research requires something that you didn't see here today, please call us. Talk to us about it and we'll be happy to customize something for you. Let us build one for you.